Ferrari had a great start to the 2022 season with their all-new F175 Challenger, bringing the hopes of a championship again. Even though they dominated the first few races, the Italy team was unable to maintain that rhythm even up to the latter part of the first half of the 2022 season. Red Bull was weak with the reliability issues of their RB18 in the first few races, handing over a clear advantage to the rival Ferrari team. But the Austrian team came back strongly in the next few races, and Ferrari had no proper plan to resist that challenge. Red Bull came up with back-to-back -back upgrades, which makes their RB18 even stronger than Ferrari's F175 in every aspect. Technical failures, strategical errors, and bad luck mixed up to push them almost out of contention for the 2022 World Championship. Statistically, there is a slim chance for Ferrari to win this year's championship, but practically, they have already lost it as Red Bull is at the optimum point of performance in terms of consistency, pace, and power. Losing the championship is not the only bad thing that can happen to their team principal, Matteo Bonato, as now he is at the edge of losing his job. Will he be fired at the end of the 2022 season? Stay with the video to the last moment as we are going to discuss from A to Z these latest rumors of firing Bonato from the Ferrari team principal role. Ferrari appeared as a top contender for the world championship after staying two years in midfield. They had a good car, better pace, and two consistent drivers in their lineup to deliver something special to fans after a series of low performances over two seasons. Still, no one is able to explain what had happened to the Ferrari team despite the fact that they had everything in their arsenal to deliver a championship. Now, everyone has started to point fingers at the team principal, Matteo Benotto, describing that poor team management is the reason behind their decline. Everyone knows that Ferrari is always making huge strategical errors in the last few races, but team principal Matteo Benotto repeatedly refuses to accept that as his team has made mistakes. It is not an easy job to be a team principal in a top team like Ferrari, as a small error can cost all the good things that were done over the years. But Noto pushed the Italian team through a very difficult phase in midfield into a race-winning stage this season. It was a two-year effort that pushed the prancing horse into the top level again. But several strategical errors in the last few races resulted in a huge criticism on Matteo Bonato, regardless of his effort to push the team up to this level. For all of these reasons, a three-year petition, which was signed by fans to fire Matteo Bonato from his job in 2019 due to the poor run of the team in that season, came back to life again as the Ferrari F1 team headed by Bonato is unable to deliver sufficient support for their drivers to remain in the championship battle with Red Bull Racing. Matteo Bonato had to make the same mistake back in 2019 as strategic errors played a role in the decline of the Italian team. It is happening all over again. In the same petition, signed on Change.org, has come to life again, forcing the executive administration of Ferrari to sack Bonato. Leclerc was the top favorite of the 2022 driver's title, but race by race, he is slowly losing that rare opportunity of winning a world championship due to a number of different reasons. Leclerc finally talks about the rumors of firing Matteo Bonato from the Italian team. There are always rumors around the Formula One team, and especially with Ferrari, Leclerc told the media about the situation. I think what is most important in those moments is not to get distracted with whatever is being said around us. We are very unified as a team, and I think we need to keep on going like this. He also pointed out that the Ferrari team is finally enjoying a great season after a winless 2021 campaign, and he said the overall momentum of the team is going in the right direction. We've shown we've been great from last year to this year doing these types of performances, he said. We need to keep working in that direction. Obviously, taking off all these outside rumors, I didn't hear that one in particular, but obviously we just have to focus on our job. Sitting alongside the Ferrari driver, Leclerc, two former Ferrari duo, Alonso and Vettel also talked about the future of Matteo Bonato at the Italian team. During Alonso's time at Ferrari between 2010 and 2014, Stefan Dumicali was the Ferrari F1 boss. He resigned in early 2014 as that year's Ferrari F114T was not competitive as expected. At least in my case, I never paid too much attention to rumors, Alonso said. So all these things when you are at Ferrari, when you're in Formula 1 in general, you have to perform. If not, things will change. It's the same for drivers, mechanics, designers, and bosses. There's a huge pressure. This is not a charity event. This is professional sports. In Vettel's case, he moved to the Italian team from Red Bull 
when Maurizio Arrivabin took the charge of team's principal role as a replacement of Stefan Domicali. They worked together until he was replaced by Benato after a disastrous campaign back in 2018. I think when you race for a Ferrari at Monza in Italy, then you will be confronted with rumors, Patel commented. But like Fernando said, rumors are rumors. I haven't heard that particular rumor, but I think it's probably something you have to deal with when you are racing for Ferrari in Italy. But equally, in two weeks' time, we will be somewhere else and you have to deal with it less. Rumors are there, but as I said, I don't know anything right now. Ferrari had a bad history of firing their team principals when they were unable to deliver up to the expectations. Both the former team principals in the last decade had lost their jobs when they were unable to live up to the expectations of the Italian administration. One resigned by himself, and another was fired. There is a possibility of repeating the history again, as the Ferrari team is at a decline again in a year that has everything to deliver a world championship. Former Ferrari driver Felipe Massa also fears that Benito's job is under threat if he doesn't make a change within the team's structure quickly. He's a very good engineer, a very professional guy. He understands a lot about it on the technical side. He's also a good guy, to be honest, he explained. But in the end, the result is not coming the way it should, so we cannot definitely blame him. But we need to say that he's part of it. He needs to turn and change things in a quick way. Otherwise, he can pay for it with his job, explained the former Ferrari driver. But Mattia Bonato is still keeping faith on his strategic team, despite their controversial decision in the last few races. I am convinced that our team is also strong at a strategic level. We often look at mistakes and not at what we do right, he told Tag24. We should have won five more races, but somehow it didn't happen. We could have been nine and three over Red Bull in terms of wins because we always had problems when we were in the lead. Red Bull only had bad luck when they were behind us. But looking at the balance of the first half of the season, I see no reason why we should change. I just think we need to address the question of what went wrong, understand the problem, and work on it. There's no reason why we can't get it back next time, he added further. Red Bull driver, Max Verstappen is now leading the Drivers' Championship standings with 335 points to his name with a gap of 116 points over Ferrari driver Leclerc. So, Ferrari has a slim chance for this year's championship as Red Bull is not showing any kind of opportunity for Ferrari to close the mammoth gap in the championship standings. What do you think about Matteo Bonato? Is he the reason behind Ferrari's decline? Should he be replaced with a new team principal? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.